Hello guys, in this video you will see one free lesson from my upcoming course about file uploads and in this lesson I show how to upload the file to Amazon S3 as an example of Laravel Breeze registration form with additional file upload field. If you want to purchase full course, at this moment it's not public yet, I'm still in the process of shooting it, but you can subscribe to yearly membership of my teachable at laraveldaily.teachable.com that way you would access all current courses, which is 14 courses, and every course which I will release in a year ahead. Or if you want to choose some separate course, you can also browse laraveldaily.teachable.com. Now let's get to the lesson. Now let's take a look at another disk that is available, which is S3, which stands for a very popular Amazon AWS S3 service, where you can store your files. It's not free, so check the pricing on AWS, but a lot of people use that, and I use it for my own projects for my team, so I can recommend it if you don't want to store the files on the same server as the project itself. And as you can see in the configuration, there are parameters that you need to provide. And then when uploading the files, you just provide the disk where to upload to. The most tricky part, however, is not the Laravel part in this case. It's actually setting up the S3 environment, buckets and all of that. So I will try to demonstrate you that in this video. I'm logged in in my AWS management console. In services, I search for S3. I get in here and I see the list of my buckets. Every bucket is usually used for one project. It's kind of like a folder. Each bucket has its own region and its own settings. And let's create a new bucket for our own file upload course. So file upload course, for example, choose the region that you think you will have most customers from, most users from. I will leave Frankfurt and everything else should stay by default, create bucket. Of course, there are so many settings here in AWS, but let's stick to the defaults. So from here, we have our bucket name, which we can supply here, file upload course. You can specify that directly in the config or in .env file. So let's do .env file. In this case, AWS bucket is file uploads course. The region is also tricky here because default is US East 1 and each region has a name and a code name. And every bucket has a region of, for example, EU Central 1 in this case. And then we need to have key ID and access key. Where do we get those from? In AWS, we need to search for another service called IAM, stands for Identity and Access Management. Let's click Users. Let's click Add User username file uploads for example actually let's name it file uploads course access type programmatic access next permissions and then let's choose attach existing policies directly search for s3 and we can choose amazon s3 full access next tags we don't need any tags next review and create user so we have user file uploads course with access key ID. We can copy that into here like this and secret access key. I will copy that, won't show that in this video. And then in the code where you actually store the file, in this case, in our case, it's file store as avatar on registration for Laravel Breeze. You can define not public, so not this disk anymore, but instead of that S3. Finally, you need to install so-called adapter for S3 in Laravel documentation under file uploads. There is a package specifically used for AWS S3 and let's install it by doing composer require version 1.0 like this. So it installs the version 1.0.29 and let's try it out. Our registration form, so default Laravel breeze with the avatar field, fake filler, upload some meme from my downloads, register. And I see the error and I deliberately won't edit it out so you can see how the messages are done from S3. I just made a typo, so it's not file uploads course, it's file upload course. So in .env, I just changed AWS bucket and we try to register again with, again, fake filler, same file, but it would be put in a different folder. And now it is successful. And if we go to our S3 management console into that bucket and we see the folder avatars 20 and the file is successfully uploaded. 
And if you want to download that file, so in this example, in another controller, we have response download for storage path. In this case, it's not a storage path. You would have to do return storage disk, specify S3, and then response. Then you have the path. So path would be avatars, user ID, user avatar, like this. Should be working. Let's test it out, comment it out. And in the routes web, we have a special URL, avatar user ID, which I've prepared. And all we need to do is do avatar 20. And we have the file downloaded successfully.